Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duels of the Roses <clears throat> zombie playthrough. Um, it has been a while since I recorded one of these, which is not great, but um, we need to make our deck cheaper. So, um, um, we're going to have to get rid of a whole bunch of really expensive cards. Probably all of those, and then some more. Um, Mask of Darkness is not very useful right now. Okay, hopefully we can... Fill out the deck <clears throat> with cheap cards. Mm, not gonna happen. Yep, I'm gonna have to put in passwords. So, time for passwords. Um, let's see here. Just the roses, passwords. Call the haunted. Uh, let's see here. Uh, November 7. Uh, let's see here. Curse Breaker. Definitely a Curse Breaker angle. Um, we're going to need some rituals, I think. Um. Let's see, constructive mask. All of these cards are just going to always just get dumped every single time. Um, somebody did ask for a ritual run. Um, probably wouldn't be too awful. The only problem is Grandpa is basically impossible. Uh, I mean, you just have to bait him out, I guess. It's not that impossible, but he'd be a pain. Um, I think the run was conditioned on you only attack with the ritual summon creatures, which is pretty brutal. Good thing none of the enemies really rush you too bad. I just messed up a password. Because I know this password works. <laughs> I should pay a little attention, maybe. Is that that is B, right? Okay, it worked that time. Let's see. I need at least one more. And you kind of expected to do something like this in, in this challenge version because um, this man's deck cost is so low. Uh, those will work. Okay. So now that we put in all those passwords, I wasted the first four minutes of the video.
<clears throat> now it's time for Mr. Payne himself. Who started with a, what? 4,000? That's a 4,000 attack beat stick. Just have Fiend's hand kill it. Okay, that one's only 3,500. Uh, we're gonna have to draw some of our cards shortly. We're gonna need to get <clears throat> like three wood remains soon. That means drawing plants. Most of these animations are just gonna be Rose Spectre killing things. Shame for Rose Spectre that it doesn't matter that it killed it. At least there's this nice little patch of Yami here that we have to work with. Final Flame is not going to be very useful, so just launch it at him. Um, on this dark field and outside of his leader range, these creatures aren't actually going to be that strong. So if we take the fight out here, it's not too bad. I would like to draw a singular plant. Okay. You've not drawn anything that I want. I mean, that creature's only 2,500 on Yami, so it's beatable. Also, uh, this guy does have three tiers of a mermaid in his deck, so you have to watch out for those, too. Ooh. Wow, he didn't attack. It's almost surprising. Okay, well, this one's also getting an equip. Also, worst case, I can always just make a pump king. Also, this guy's going to give us a whole bunch of plants, so.
I'm almost surprised that he's not attacking. This creature is quite strong. Um, I am kind of close to out of cards, though. So we kind of have to win with this. Which shouldn't be all that hard, but... That's what I wanted to see right there. Sound is not great. <laughs> Bye, Cyberstein. But he sure did set up some nice field for me, so... Um... Okay, we've seen all this animation, so... Now, unfortunately, this guy has regened a whole bunch of life points, so... I am slightly worried about that being... It's not. Okay, we're good. Yeah, sir, that was a terrible, terrible move. Now you lose. Okay. Well, we know that's not a Tears of the Mermaid, so we just win the duel. Again, taking a fight on a wasteland train. Great, great way to win this this duel. Uh, now this guy does have plants that we could definitely use. But there's so much stuff in these slots. Okay, we got one. Let's try to get over Rainbow Flower. Oh well. Good enough. I'm surprised there aren't more people that uh, just like see the 380 deck cost for Bakura and just go, I, I just ain't doing that. This is not happening. Because I feel that way sometimes. Okay, um, let's go over here. Okay, all those cards can go. Okay. Let's find some high deck costs. And we're going to put all that in. Three of those, three of those, one of those.
I don't know what else I'm missing. Oh, definitely wood remains. Oh, one of those. Okay. I don't know what else to put in, so... Just put in a griggle. However much I'd love a flame ghost, that's not happening. Um... Missing a shadow specter? Why? Okay, whatever. Good enough. Um, did I have a reincarnation? Oops. Oh, I did. Um, 25 or so is what I wanted, so. Oh well, good enough. The only thing I want is Mask of Darkness and Magician of Faith, but I don't think there's any point to really trying to get them. It's time for Yugi. Hopefully this goes well. At least the field doesn't hinder us too bad. Well, the first thing he played, he put a quip on, so... And it's a black pendant, so it's almost assuredly a dark elf. It's just about the only thing he can play first turn. Okay, we'll just play a little smart here. Um, with Darkness Approaches, I can just fake out his AI and make him attack me. Um, and then I don't have to deal with the Mirror Forces, which is probably what I'll just end up doing. Name Dark Elf. Let's throw this in face up defense. Equip this guy. Move him over. Next turn I play Darkness Approaches and win the game. Oh, I didn't flip my Mask of Darkness. Do this. Since I have a Darkness Approaches in my hand. And I'll pass. And in hope he just commits suicide.
I'm just gonna wait, see if he will attack me. If not, um, I think his AI is Pegasus, so he shouldn't attack me. Um, so instead I'll just put this thing in defense. Um, this is probably big enough to not take too much damage here if he doesn't have one. That if he doesn't have one is like almost irrelevant. He's always going to have one. I don't really want to do that because it'll put the darkness approaches in front of me. And then I won't be able to... Oh. Glad to see that's a mirror force. Can just a hundred percent play around it. This only works on limited range, so it's gonna get mirror forced. Um He doesn't have another one, right? No. Okay. Goodbye, Dark Magician. There's a reason you're a bad card. Well, we played around two Mirror Forces and won the game. Pretty easy. Okay, skip this. And now we could have made this deck stronger, but it would be... I would have had to, like, actually try to get good reincarnations, but honestly, I mean, this deck is fine. Um, I could definitely use a Yami, though, for this fight. Or, you know, uh... Oh! Okay, sir! Sir, that's not okay. Oh, I took out Bad Reaction to Samachi, didn't I? Or to go in the pump king route this this duel. Oh, that'll help. That'll come in a lot of handy. Do this. If he plays Gorgon's Eye, we're gonna be sad, but what can you do? This will work great. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, check for the Gorgon's Eye. That's a lot of darkness approaches. Okay. He's not playing spell and traps next to him, which is good. Now, hopefully he doesn't have a Just Desserts for me. That would be bad. Now, there is a chance that he can just get over this. That is a risk I am willing to take. Oh, he can't get over it. So that's a great sign. Do we think he has um, a Mirror Force? Let's see. Many of those cards are Spill and Traps. Oh, all of them are. Or, all of them are monsters. I am pretty sure all of those are monsters, so... Oh, wow. Curse of Dragon. It's an excellent card for me to see there. Absolutely the best monster he could have used. I mean, it didn't matter, but because I use Cyberstein for that. But I only need like 9,000 damage, 9,000 attack power to kill him right now. Okay, well, let's hope he doesn't have it. Because if he does, I mean, you just have to make another Wood Remains. Oh, Sag. Now killing him is going to be a lot harder. Now he's going to play a monster there this time, almost assuredly, because he has so much summoning power.
and skip this so this video doesn't go too long. Although, I mean, I owe you guys an extra five minutes considering I entered passwords for the first five minutes of this episode. Yikes, sir. I didn't want to see you actually playing cards. That was weird. Looked like he had two traps down. Hopefully he can't get over 4,000. It's unlikely that he can. I'd like him to put something in attack for me, though. So I could attack it and, like, lose my creature. And I have monstrous number problems now. I guess I, I can attack with this. Mirror Force. No Mirror Force. Okay. Well, his thing's in defense. We've seen snake hair enough. Uh oh. Well, let's do it again. Okay. There's definitely nothing... Oh, I can just pass turns now. Um, since I have Pump Kings, this is what you guys wanted to see, right? Okay, we'll just... To speed up because this is going to take a while. I have to flip all of these cards every single turn. <laughs> it um okay more more power we need more power boys Um, that'll be 82, 6,200 damage. There we go. Finish off the game. Well, if you make anything big enough, you eventually win the duel. The mantra of zombies.
and we got the performance sword. Sweet. Okay, so um, that's a zombie playthrough. Um, definitely not a clean zombie playthrough, but it was a playthrough. We made it through with minimal suffering. I didn't use Pump King too much. Definitely tried to avoid what I did in the last school where it was just buff a whole bunch of turns and then win, but sometimes uh, that's just the easiest, most assured way to complete a game, so you go for it. Go for what wins, even though the AI is terrible and doesn't understand. Oh well, um, that's a zombie playthrough. Next up, I need to do a chaos run. I don't know what I'm going to play, but I'm going to boot up Chaos and I'm going to uh, play through something on there. Since I haven't done Chaos in a while. And then I don't know what's next after that, so be it for today. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.